Hi, I'm Dylan Jones. And I'm Bo Songwi Sawat. Join us as we travel to Old Thailand. And we share our food secrets and how to cook Thai food. Right here, this is one of my favorite salads we're going to do. And that is a spicy salad with grilled beef, Isan style. Nam tok nua. I think I like this salad so much because it's so simple, but so tasty. And then to make it even better, eat it with some sticky rice. Yeah, it's Isan food. Simple but tasty. So really spicy. We put about a tablespoon of chili powder. Toasted, yeah. Toasted. Two tablespoons fish sauce. Yeah. And quite a fair bit of lime juice. So I'm going to use seven shallots because an uneven number is better. And it's sort of thickly sliced. You want it a bit more rustic, this salad. I'll just add a little bit more of fish sauce in here. So I've got a half a bunch of pak chi faran or long leaf coriander. Or saw leaf coriander. Or saw leaf coriander. Or cilantro if you're from... Pile out. <laughs> and just shredded. While you're doing that, I'm going to thicken the dressing with uh, toasted rice. So just give it like a nuttiness and smokiness to the dressing. Okay, and then I've got about five spring onions that I'm just going to slice. So th with this one you need equally hot, salty and sour. sour. Yep. And then just to finish, we're going to have one apple aubergine or one apple eggplant and just cut it in half and then slice it lengthways. With the aubergines, when you cut it, it's going to turn brown. Quite quickly. So after you cut it, I suggest that you put it in the dressing straight away. So what beef cut do you choose okay, to so use today? Okay, so today I've just chosen a sirloin, but you could have anything like a sirloin, a ribeye, anything with a little bit of fat in there so when you cook it, it keeps the meat nice and moist. Basically, whatever you'd have at home as a steak, right. I'd use as a, for a nam dog. And then we're just going to cut nice slices against the grain so that when you chew it, it's nice and easy. As you can see, the meat's like nice and well rested, so it's nice and pink in the middle. You don't want to overcook it because once you put it in the dressing, the lime juice is going to cook it a little bit more anyway. Okay, that's plenty. One for me as well. Oh, in. Okay, we've got a plate here. So, nam dok, because it's so spicy, you want to eat it with a lot of fresh vegetables. So you've got cabbage, long beans, cucumber, and some fruit, whatever you'd like to put it with it, really. And you're just going to add a little bit of... A small handful of mint, small amount of coriander. Mm -hmm. Ah, do you want my fatty bits? Yeah. Cool. And if you don't eat beef... Well, it's quite easy to do it with the grilled pork as well. Or chicken. Or chicken, anything. If that's salad dressing, it's pretty user-friendly, really, isn't it? So there we have a really simple, yummy, fragrant, hot beef salad.